What's up guys? I got a question today from my buddy about push-ups and he was asking me about progressing from just standard um, slow controlled push-ups on the ground to doing more dynamic uh, explosive clapping push-ups and he was asking should I just try to do more reps of push-ups or should I progress to these explosive kind of push-ups and I think, you know, progressing from something slow and controlled to something a little bit more dynamic is a great idea. However, what I don't see many people doing is training their push-ups in a weird, unpredictable way. So everyone does their push-ups, you know, you get top, fingers pointing forward, feet together, butt squeezed, keep the core tight, keep the elbows in, right? We don't want the elbows flaring out. And we press up and back down. The problem with this is that we're not always able to do push-ups like this in real life. There was a study about Marines and their shoulder injuries. And what they found was because the Marines were training their push-ups only in that one single pattern, they were getting injured because in the field, their push-up looked more like this, right? They didn't have time to get into the perfect push-up position before they pressed up. Sometimes their push-up might have been on an elevated surface. Sometimes their push-up might have been where their hand was turned out or away from their body rather than super close in here like this. So I would rather see people train their push-ups with a little bit more unpredictability before they move into uh, more explosive variations. How can you do this? Well, one way is you can grab a foam roller, you can put it on the ground, put one hand on the foam roller, one hand on the ground, and push up just like that. Um, great way to add a little bit more dynamic um, stabilization and a little bit more demand on those smaller muscles. You can also use a ball. This is a mobility ball that I got from, I think, Rogue. And it's great for myofascial release and breaking up knots in your tissues, but it's also great for just a little bit more variation. So you can do the same thing with the ball on the ground and you can push up. You can elevate the surface to give it a little bit more variety. So I could put one hand on a yoga block like this, one hand on the ground. I could use a step stool. This can turn more into a side push up Pushing up to the side, that can be a lot more challenging. Um, but what else? I can change the distance of my hands from my body. So I might sometimes do a push up like this. Sometimes I might do a push up um, with one hand closer to my hips and the other hand further out. Sometimes I might turn my hands out rather than fingers pointing forward. Or I can turn my hands in. I can turn one hand in and one hand to the back. Those are just a few variations you can try. Um, you can also use the rings if you have some. So I love the rings. They're a great tool for upper body strength. And one of the things I love about them is you can stagger the heights. So I might start with just one hand on the rings and one on the ground. And that requires a lot more stabilization than the ball, which is awesome. But once that becomes fairly easy, 
then I can move to uh, staggered height with both hands on the rails. What about the hands, though? We talked about changing where the fingers are pointing and how much distance the hands are away from the body. But what about the actual terrain underneath the hands? This is very important too. So what you can do is get some rocks. There's rocks everywhere. Just go outside, pick some up. Um, you can also grab some bark too. Bark is great. And you can just, you know, put it on a yoga mat, throw it in a pile, put one hand on it, uh, maybe both hands on some rocks. And give a little bit more demand for your hands to change shape. Your hands are not meant to be only on flat surfaces all the time. Everything is so manicured in our modern domesticated world. Everything's flat, has you know perfect right angles, everything's super predictable, but life is not predictable. And you're not always going to be able to get into that perfect push-up position all the time. You're going to have to be ready for a push-up like this, or like this, or like this. And the more you train that, the more you're going to be ready. So obviously, I want you to go out and do this in nature as well. I want you to go out and find a hill and you know maybe start with just a regular push-up like this on a hill, like you normally would do. And then try your hand a little bit further away, a little bit turned out. Then maybe one hand on the roots of a tree, the other one on the ground. So it's a little bit different. Maybe one hand is grabbing the root and pulling, and the other one is pushing. It's not always going to be only a push. Sometimes you're going to have a push-pull sort of movement that nature is going to demand of you. Again, play around with it, be creative. And this is, the best thing about this is it's so much more interesting and fun than just training push-ups in this you know, I'm gonna do five sets of 20 in this really boring, repetitive, mechanical way. That's how we develop these muscular imbalances. That's how we, you know, become weaker because our training is too predictable. It's too routine. And we're not ready for real life. We're not ready for moving in a way where we haven't been, you know, practicing that in a gym, in this safe, predictable environment. So play around with that. I hope you enjoyed this. I encourage you to change this up. And you can apply this to pulling movements. Um, you can apply this to squatting. You can apply this to hanging movements. You can apply this to a lot of different things. So explore your body, be creative, have fun, and if you like this video, if you got some value out of it, if it gave you like an aha moment, I would really, really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends. Wherever you hang out online, I would deeply, deeply appreciate you just taking a few seconds and sharing it with your people. It would mean a lot to me. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, do that as well. Lots more great videos uh, coming to you soon. I'm making them all the time.